Merry Christmas. Was that fun? Was it? That was pretty neat, wasn't it, with those car seats, huh? The height of that seat, really. The length of it. Okay, is everybody unhappy? I think that's time? what they're living on. Huh? No, that's way up there. Mrs. Reagan, are you looking forward to seeing your old pal, Raisa Gorbachev? Why did I know that you would be the one to ask that, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? Yes, I am. I am. I hope she has a good time in New York. She's got a wonderful time to go there. I mean, all the Christmas decorations are up. And I... You know, that's, it's a great time to go. Do you have anything to say to her? I mean, a message? No. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You'll be there with Mrs. Bush and Mrs. Robert. Oh, they, no, there are 24, I think, people for lunch. I think that's, I think that's it. Last I heard. Sure. No, everybody says that. But... Yes, we do. Yes, I know you do. <laughs> yes, I know. But there hasn't, really. I, you, you all keep saying that there's a, a feud and a fussing and feuding. And there uh, it really isn't. I, I think there's been too much attention paid to it. I do. I really do. Oh, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not, but that's a that's a given. Did you remember when she came here, the way she acted here that day? Mm hmm <laughs> you, think she, you think she tries to upstage American women? I don't know. I don't you know. know. And it may be the difference in, in, well, in what's Christmas going to be like? cultures. It's going to be a different motif this year, different theme and the uh, You'll have to wait and see, Helen. That's a surprise. Everything we want for Christmas is going to the house, <laughs> into the house. Do you know what you're giving your husband yet? The house. <laughs> the furnishing of the house. Pardon? Well, we're, we're going to have our Christmas here, on the, but on the 23rd, with my brother and, you know, <coughs> yeah. And then we, I mean on the 22nd, excuse me, and the 23rd we, we leave. Oh yes, oh yes. White House, the, the White House at Christmas time is, is special. How do you feel about it being your last person on the White House? Well, you have, uh, you have mixed feelings. I mean, it, it, it's sentimental, really. Are you anxious to get away from Washington and put all this behind you? Some things I'll be glad to get rid of. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have anyone in mind? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking. <laughs> She's looking. <laughs> some things or something. Get the bedrooms out there. And some things I won't be glad to get rid of. Like what? Friends. Um, White House operators. Air Force One. Um, the press. <laughs> Ms. Rain, can we have you stand in front of the tree? Pardon me? Instant helicopters. Instant, yeah, I mean, you know, and everybody's been so nice. Practically everybody. <laughs> well, you're going to miss the press. In a way, I mean, now that'll sound strange to you. Explain it. Seriously. Could he talk to you about our tree? Well, I, I, I think, I mean, you may not feel this way, but I think I am. I think that somewhere among you are some good friends. I Nancy, feel that here's, way. Here's some good friends. We're good backers. <laughs> you know, so I'll, I'll miss. Yeah. Has I'm last not. year been the hardest? Oh, no. First year was the hardest. We have children inside. Children. Be Santa Claus. Pardon me? I'm tell. not going to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell. I'm Elaine is mad enough. For, I'm selling. She's mad at me enough at me that I'm wearing my green coat for the eighth year, but I think that's become well, tradition. Under the coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam. No, really. People would really? say you're going to have a red dress and a green coat. No, I don't have a red dress. 
Those tree came from Wisconsin. Pardon me? Yeah. I thought you were in Pottsville. No, they just wanted to come here and go. He told us to talk to you so you get away from the rest of it. Oh, he told us that. There's anything you want to know about the tree? It came from Wisconsin. And, uh... You know that the tree... You're not asking anything about the tree. Okay. Tell us about the tree. Tell us the tree. Came from... It's quite an honor, I'll tell you. It really is. Came from yeah. Wisconsin. We've tried several years to get one here, and this is we finally made it. Uh, it's been 12 years since there's been one from Wisconsin, and Did we're pretty proud. This one we didn't grow. We've got it off lease land. We had to grow the one that won the contest in Maine. That was off our own farm. We shared it, hotel. And we, we shared, shared this we one. Shared and how did you get it here? Wisconsin went for caucus. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of Wisconsin Not didn't all of go for the caucus. Believe us. What's special about it? Pardon me. Well, they came from Washington, picked it out from the White House here, and we think it's a pretty special tree. Special is to have it sheared as tall as it is. It's hard to shear a tree this tall. It's hard to take care of. The special thing is being here with our grandchildren and bringing all the whole family. Se Mrs. 17 Reagan of us. By ourselves. This is just an honor. We'll live it down. <laughs> we have an awful lot of trees. Mm -hmm. We have about 4,000 acres. Now, what, what yearly income do you have? That we can't tell you, I'm sorry. Oh, Sam! <laughs> but the IRS are there checking us out, so. <laughs> Every year we are audited, so it's, we're, we're all right. Every year. <laughs> Not a Republican cloth coat, though. It certainly right. is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, well, if there are many more tributes, I think I'll be washed away. Well, I hope. <laughs> No, I suppose not. I suppose not. That that will break this cycle. Yeah. But be nice. It is his last one. Of course you do. It's a Christmas spirit. It's his last one. You won't have Ronald Reagan to kick around anymore. <laughs> you said that I didn't. <laughs> I, I know. No. I'll miss. I I really will miss you. Well, I thought you'd never say it, Sam. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try and do better at the Christmas when you come through the White House. Well, of course. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, it's hard to do 3,000 miles away, you know. How much did it cost? A lot of people say it cost a lot more than it was. That's what it cost. 14 million bucks. Oh, no. That's that's the fellow across the street. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it worth it? Two, two? Oh. Have you have you looked at houses in, in the... I know. I don't know why that started. I, I love it. It's small. It's not big. I kept saying I, I don't want a big house. I don't want big grounds. I don't want a great big place. It took me a long time to convince people of that, but... You don't want to be up in the rain. You don't want to be down in the house. How's that going to work? Oh, we'll, 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 we'll do both. But... We're going to be very busy, you know. You're not. We're not sitting in a rocking chair. What do you think, sir? What do you think you'll be doing? What kind of activity? I will be um, finishing my book. <laughs> you be a kiss and tell? No, it will not be a kiss and tell. Um, I'll be uh, opening a drug center. I hope. I'll be uh, giving speeches. I'll be busy. Boy, you're you're 
He always thinks about money. Doesn't he? he always thinks about money. Yeah, mercenary. That's the word. Yes. I don't know. Pardon me. Your husband is maybe a capitalist. Good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How about twenty-five thousand? That sounds good. He does. Well, then let's make it thirty. <laughs> I'm, I don't have, I, I haven't gotten into that at all. I don't know anything about that. I, I just know what my husband says. Do you feel, Mrs. Reagan, that you've been more than going next to the people that betrayed your husband during that entire affair? Now, you're going to have to read my book. I think he was badly served. You have to read my book. Is it a, is it a vengeful book? Vengeful? No. You get back at a few people. No, I try to straighten the record. How many references to Donald King Reagan have made in the book? I just try to straighten the record. I don't believe in vengeful books. I don't believe in kiss and tell books. I don't like them. I n I've never read any, as a matter of fact. Is that right? You've never read any? Uh oh. Never. How will you know then what record? Well, from what I read in the paper and from what you all ask me, <laughs> or ask my husband, or what I hear, you know. Your library is not going to have any books. Nope. So you're going to open the drug center and finish your book, make speeches. Uh, any time for anything else? Not much. What do you think your husband would do? Would just go out and make a lot of speeches? Yeah, he will. And he's, he's writing a book. He's going to be writing a book. And um, he's going to be involved with the library. He'll, he'll be busy. Am I? I've been, I've been writing for a year and a half now and under the worst possible circumstances. You know, when, when you write a book, you, sh you should just have the book to concentrate on. And, and I've had a lot of other things to concentrate on. It's not, not the ideal way to write. But I can't finish it until I walk out the door. Any traveling do you think you do? Probably. Probably. My new inaugural? No. <laughs> Yeah, but it won't be new. The green coat. <laughs> yeah, the green coat. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Let's go. Sam. <laughs> we have a perfect spot for you.